Hey, welcome to another episode of Music Tips and Reviews with JG. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, today was a big day. Uh, Usher's new album, Coming Home, came out. Uh, first of all, I'm glad he didn't name it Confessions 2. I think Coming Home is more clever, you know, to have its own identity. And... Uh, as I review this this album, you know, you'll see more why, you know, I felt like it shouldn't be a Confessions 2. Not, you know, not saying that it was a bad album, <clears throat> but it got its, its own sound. So I wouldn't call it Confessions 2 because uh, I would say, you know, really listening to this album, um, I had to separate, you know, the rubric which is confessions you know confessions was his biggest album uh kind of you know separate the two and you know seeing the growth of usher you know since confessions uh you know all the different styles he's done since confessions uh you know confessions had a few pop songs but it still was kind of an urban twist to it but now, you know, Usher has evolved into an international artist. Uh, even though during Confessions he was international, but now his sound is even more international. And so I had to separate, you know, the sonics of Confessions to now. You know, it's, it's been uh, 20 years since Confessions. You know, this, this album, Coming Home, but um, I'm glad he didn't call it Confessions uh, 2. So we're going to get to the, uh, the track list. Uh, Coming Home album. Uh, highly anticipated. And of course because of the Super Bowl. And you know, a lot of people anticipated this album a lot. You know they anticipated this album. And so we're going to get through this track list. And I'm going to give you my rating uh, at the end. And so... Uh, you know, starting with the cover, I think it was very creative. Uh, to me, you know, my interpretation of this this cover is, you know, he has the peach. You know, he's coming home, so it's like, you know, he's he's recognizing, um, you know, his hometown where he come from, where he considers his home, Atlanta. So he has the peach. So he's coming home. I guess he's coming back to his foundation uh coming back you know representing atlanta and you know a few tracks throughout you know this album has that atl sound and i think you know that's my interpretation you know let me know your interpretation of the cover uh i thought it's very creative uh very uh fitting for this album um you know start with coming home kind of had that 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 michael jackson the way you make me feel vibe to it and it's very neat you know having burner boy burner boy been on a lot of songs you know featured um good good uh i like the vibe of that song of course that was a single from the album with summer walker and 21 savage um good song good single um a town girl with lotto i thought that was a pretty good song and you know it's good lotto representing you know the atl on that song that was a good collab i must say um cold-blooded uh that song was it was okay cold-blooded was, was okay um you know uh produced by pharrell and, and the dream so i see a dream is, is did a lot of songs on this album um I think it was pretty good. It, it, was, it was my least favorite song on the album, I must say. Uh, I could say Pharrell's production has been real simple these days. <laughs> you know, it don't be a lot of, you know, uh, cinematic sonics <laughs> um, to his production lately. Uh, Kissing, Kissing Strangers. Um, I love this song. I think it's one of my favorite songs on the album. I think it was very, the concept was very good uh on this song um keep on dancing was kind of my least favorite i think it was a uh kind of 
cliche kind of you know generic uh dance song i think it was just something you know they put together uh to, you know to put a pop song on the album um it was okay it wasn't that bad <clears throat> uh, i love risk it all with her um i like that song and i believe you know her yeah her produced it so shout out to her amazing song i love it just with the piano very simplistic um bop i like that song bop that was a good song that was that was interesting um i like that that was different you know hit boy with that production in the dream uh stone cold freak and i love when he works with rico love i think they his writing style his melodies really fits you know the way usher is the swag of of rico loves writing uh, stone cold freak and of course he wrote boyfriend as well he wrote that single uh, rico love and uh i think it was a pretty good song i think it was very uh it had a lot of swag to it and of course i love the you know rico loves melody top lines his melodies so that was good uh one of my other favorite songs ruin that was a single as well I think that was very different for Usher, you know, that Afrobeat vibe to it. And uh, his vocals was amazing on that song. Uh, Big, I like the concept of Big. That was good. On the side, that was good as well. That was good. Of course, Jermaine Dupri and uh, Brian Michael Cox and I'm, I Am The Potty. Um, I like that concept as well. You know, saying, you know, you don't got to go nowhere. <laughs> I want to bring the party here. I'm the party. You know, just a, a, a simplistic love song that I love. Um, I love you uh, with the dream. Uh, D. Mao and Tricky Stewart. That was that was that Prince. And it sounded like uh, kind of got that Prince girlfriend uh, vibe to it. I love that. Uh, Please you. It was okay. That was that song was okay. That song was okay. That was my one of my least favorite songs. Uh, Luckiest Man, produced by uh, Bam. Bam is an amazing producer. I love this song. Love it. Love it. It took me back to old Usher. Just that R and B vibe to that one. And I love the guitar, the the, the rhythm guitar on that one. Uh, Magila, that was okay. Produced by J Lack. I like that he uses his brother, you know, on albums to produce. Uh, Room in a Room was interesting. I like that concept as well. Uh, one of the ones was one of my other favorite. Uh, Damon Thomas and D Mile. What what can get better than that on production? Damon Thomas killed. That that was an amazing track right there. I love the arrangement, the pianos and stuff like that on that song was amazing. Um, Standing Next to You, that was a good pop song. Kind of connect him with the K-pop vibes. So yeah, that was that was the track list of the album. And like I said, I had to separate um, Confessions uh, from this album. Uh, and I must say, this is kind of like this album it felt like a buffet it felt like uh you know he was kind of trying to reach all of his fans his fan base you know his international fan base his pop base uh you know fan base uh his urban r&b fan base um it felt like he was trying to reach all of those to really i guess walk up into this super bowl you know but at the same time, I think he just wanted to have a great collection of, of songs because, you know, of course, he haven't been out with an album in a little while. And so, you know, he wanted to put all these different sounds together in this album. But I must say, you know, connect in connection to Confessions and other albums he had. I love when he put interludes in this album. Uh, and, you know, of course, this one didn't really have interludes. But uh, I just love when he do, does interludes because it really connects the album to make it a project, a full project, a full story, a full thought. And I felt 
I felt in a way it was just songs put together by different, you know, producers. You know, he made have work with Jermaine Dupri and Brian Michael Cox in one, um, you know, area of this process of this album. And then he made a work with D Mile and, you know, different others, you know, different teams. I felt like he was working with different teams at certain moments, you know, work, you know, working up to the release of this album. Uh, sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not because sonically you may have so many different sounds on one album. That's the that's the main thing. Uh, and the thing I like about classic albums is that it's a whole story. It's a whole thought. Uh, every song lines up and I felt like this this was kind of on the short stick of of that you know that concept um but i think it was good songs on this album uh, i hate to say it was a lot of fillers to me i think a lot of songs could have been left off uh this album to be at least a 16 track album i don't think it i don't think it could have should have been 20 songs i think it should have been a solid 16 songs because I felt some songs could have been left off, uh, like I say, like "Please You," uh, "Margila," uh, uh, "Keep On Dancing." I think that could have been left off the album uh, because he already had a pop song, you know, with uh, "Standing Next to You," which was a single. Um, and so I, I think some songs could have been left off of the album. Uh, but I felt like he was trying to reach all, like I said, all his fan base, uh, the people that really love, you know, his art. Um, you know, I feel like Usher is always underrated as a, 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 a singer. And I feel vocally he really he really did amazing on this album. Uh, but as you know, I got to give you my review. And, it, you know, uh, tough. This was a tough review. This was a tough review. You know, I listened to this twice to really give a good um you know a good review and so uh this is tough i think it's a little bit above average so i have to give it a 7.5 out of 10 um uh, i think it was like i said concepts you know as far as the whole album as a whole i felt i was losing a concept i think it was just songs put together uh but I felt it was great songs and I felt song it was songs that was like, oh, I'm just giving them this song so they'll get this sound. Uh, that's what I felt. And I, uh, you know, give it a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, let me know what you thought about this album. Let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know if you, you thought my review, you know, my rating was good or bad. Uh, and give your, your rating. Let me know your rating. And let me know your favorite songs on the album. Uh, I think my favorite songs on this album was uh, Kissing Strangers, uh, Ruin, Risk It All, uh, I Love You, Luckiest Man, and uh, one of them ones, I think they was my favorite songs. Some of the other songs was good, but those are my favorite. So, uh, like I said, leave your comments on what you thought about the album. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please share it. Uh, I've had some comments where people referred my channel. You know, they love my channel and they shared it with others. So, please share my content. I appreciate y'all for watching. And until next time. All right. Peace.